So today's video is going to be short and sweet. I don't have a whole lot. I know I'm also a day late and I apologize for that. Uh, it was a busy weekend and it was hot and I didn't want to do anything except sit in front of a fan and not sweat. So last week was exciting. Scotland had a huge vote whether or not to leave the United Kingdom. Something like, I don't know how many millions of um, Scots voted, but upwards of 90% voter turnout for this one referendum and uh, they ultimately decided to stay part of the United Kingdom and I think there are several reasons for that. Keeping the pound as their national currency, I think there's also other economic benefits um, to staying inside the United Kingdom, um, but obviously autonomy is a very nice thing and there were lots of people who wanted um, to be independent. The Brits have not treated um, Scotland very well over the years, and a lot of people were pretty um, upset and ready to go. And I don't, I don't really blame them. I think ultimately it came down to a lot of uncertainty as to what would happen if they left the United Kingdom. You know, and people have gotten comfortable with the idea. They like the pound, like I said. Um, maybe they liked the flag and didn't like the. I don't know. There's all sorts of speculation and reasons and, and commentary. It, it all was very interesting to me. I watched the vote online um, on BBC, um, watched uh, US coverage on MSNBC. That's what I spent my last Thursday doing in the afternoon. It was interesting. But it got me thinking about Hawaiian sovereignty, something that uh, I fully support, how Hawaiians here might take steps legally to secede from the United States and, and get the kingdom back that was stolen from them by a bunch of rich Americans and the United States government, United States military. Obviously, I think it would be a lot harder than a simple referendum vote, um, and I, frankly, I'm not even sure how that vote would go if it were to be held. But it's something that I thought about while watching the process uh, unfold in Scotland. Also, some other exciting stuff um, on Friday night, this past Friday, I attended the third annual Labor Fest. Um, at uh, the Arts at Mark's Garage. There was maybe 70, 50, 75 people who participated. It was a forum on how we can support union membership, support working people, um, not just on labor issues and economic issues, but on all sorts of social justice and economic justice issues that, that run the gamut. Um, and, and labor is and has always been a base of support for all sorts of progressive issues and uh, it was a really good event I thoroughly enjoyed it it was the first one I'd been to and I'm now actually contemplating joining their um, board of directors um, you know to help plan the next event and make it bigger and better and, and you know learn about labor history in Hawaii and that sort of thing on Saturday uh, afternoon I attended a meet-and-greet with the uh, let me see if I can get this right uh, Hawaiian, uh, Hawaii Alliance of, uh, no, what is it? It's HAPA, the, uh, Hawaii Alliance of Progressive Association, I, I, am blanking on the name of it now, but HAPA, um, started by a good friend of mine, Gary Hooser, a former state senator, now a, a councilman on, um, the island of Kauai, super progressive, uh, super active. Um, in progressive politics and he's put together this organization which he hopes to grow into a statewide thing bring people together on all sorts of issues they're starting on uh, environmental issues GMO pesticides that sort of thing it's a big issue on Kauai and it's growing to be a bigger issue on all the other islands Maui passed a, a pesticide ban um, they're on the ballot this November is uh, a proposal to uh, ban GMOs, genetically modified organisms, and that's going to be a huge fight. They're already starting to blast commercials out. But as he grows the organization and, and builds members and builds participation, uh, they'll take up more uh, issues, other issues, and not just the GMO, anti-pesticide, anti-big um, ag. Great organization just a fantastic board of people. Um, I encourage you to check them out. Other than that, there's not a whole lot. Um, I, I am working on a side project uh, with a friend of mine, Sean Steinman. Hopefully that video will be posted within the next week or so, and that will be an ongoing uh, project, but I'll wait to give you details after that or right before that video is posted. 
Um, so as usual, thanks for watching. Please um, share with your friends, subscribe, comment, and keep watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.